When summer melts like a lemon drop High above the chimney tops That's where you'll find me Oh, somewhere over the rainbow Way up high it's good. it's a good thing that you get to like express yourself um, I actually didn't grow up singing. I didn't learn how to sing until I was um, like 11 or 12, and I actually was tone deaf. And um, if you heard me singing the first time, it was not good. Um, so even now, a lot of people tell me I'm not good, but <laughs> I, uh, I know I just like to sing. It's it's fun, and uh, it's it's hard. That's one thing that a lot of people don't understand is they think people just go with it, and very few people have that that ability to just sing. But um, as far as like good singing and especially classical singing, which is what I used to do, um, it's it's very time consuming and, and practicing. Uh, it, it's hard. It's it's just like working out. You have to you have to do it daily, and you have to um, you know work on those muscles to expand your range and things like that. I was actually in a band. Uh, that's how I first started playing. Somebody asked me to play a band because I knew some chords on the piano to join a band with them and then um, there wasn't any guy singers so they asked if I could uh, sing and I told them no and so we just started practicing singing and so that's how I began singing first when I was 13 or 14 around that age. Just to singing, that's a tough question. Uh, I just sing because I like to and, and now I sing honestly to, to just glorify God like um, I didn't grow up in a in a sheltered home or anything like that, but I just personally never listened to secular secular music. Um, I just always was listening to worship music just because that's what I was brought up and around, and that's what I knew. And so I, I actually uh, it's a little frustrating because now we'll even go to karaoke and I don't know any of the songs because they're all secular songs about you know sex and stuff. But um, I just like uh, I, I just like worship worship songs there. They're catchy and they. Um, I mean, it's a glorified God, so. Bless your church with tongues of fire and Holy Spirit move. Leave no trace of man's desire. And Spirit burn right through. Spirit burn. Kingdom rule over our hearts. Father, show your thanks. Let the light of heaven come to us. Bless your church with tongues of fire and Holy Spirit move. Leave no trace of man's desire. And Spirit burn right through. Spirit burn. comes from my mother who uh, played in worship team since I was you know a baby and um, she really taught me a lot and kind of instilled that kind of joy when you get from singing. Playing it took me a few years but to play and sing together was more difficult 
uh, it took me, you know, a few more years on top of learning to play the guitar. Uh, but once I got it, it was like I couldn't stop. I just loved it so much. Um, and I can't stop. I started when I was eight years old. Uh, I was a little eight year old with a really big acoustic guitar for my father. And I had an old harmonica that I found in the attic. And uh, I just fell in love with music. Everybody has their own genre, but, uh, and I guess it's their own kind of, like, facets of their personality um, and how it, life kind of plays through them and affects them. Um, my favorite genre of music would be, like, I guess, uh, bluesy folks. I like to enjoy it personally and be with friends in a campfire and just sing my own stuff. Maybe one day I can record an album and have fun, but... If it turns into a career, I'm not opposed to it, but... Um, no, I don't plan on it becoming a, a career, however, but uh, I guess we'll see. The first time I ever played and sang in front of a, a crowd was at my uh, father's church. Um, my mom kind of slowly but surely forced me into uh, playing with the worship team. And I was so afraid and so scared um, that I actually asked her to unplug me right before it happened. And I was accompanying her. And she said, I can't sing with no instruments. It'll sound weird in the PA. And I said, just unplug me, unplug me, unplug me. I was only like 12 years old. And um, she said no. And that push has just guided me. And I freaking, I just love playing in front of people now. Mm -hmm.